It was a rock concert. Literally, it felt like a rock concert. Kevin would go out there on stage and everybody would clap. I'd be like, is Beyonce in the room? Like... Kevin Spacey, Richard III, was a big beast that needs all guns blazing production. Sam and I coming back together for the first time in a decade, there was a lot riding on it. I just had to push myself more than I was completely comfortable with. Everybody comes from different schools of thought and different training, different experience. Some have done a lot of Shakespeare, some haven't done a lot of Shakespeare. <laughs> the focus, the sense of anticipation. The thrill of theater is the fact that it's alive and it's happening once only in front of your eyes. So ambitious, so huge, the scale is insane. You know, a lot of people are flocking to this because Kevin's in, and that's a great thing. Some people have said to us, this is the first Shakespeare play I've ever seen. Richard III is about the nature of power. Our political act is to do the play. It's all in there. He's playing a character that has got a severe physical ailment that he's doing eight times a week. It's punishing. I know how to take care of myself on stage. Jesus. This is like a whole other way of living. <laughs> Any theatre company is a form of created society, which you hope, when you put it together, becomes a single unified organism, almost without knowing it. It's been really cool, but emotionally draining. <laughs> this play has probably been the most demanding experience I've ever had. Finally lost. Get Tom Hanks on the phone because he's 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 gone. <laughs>